Every year, on June the 22nd, the descendants of numerous seafaring families of the Bay of Kotor assemble for the five centuries old ritual. The small fishing boats are symbolically decorated with green branches and filled with rocks. Most of the boats put ashore at the very entrance to Perast and take one stone for each male member of their family. At the end of the day, boats from all parts of the Bay of Kotor head for Perast. From there, the assembled procession, on oars only, in the same pace as 500 years ago, proceed towards the little island of Our Lady of the Rock. At the head of the procession is the boat with the priest and four of the most distinguished local citizens who are singing old folk songs. Only male representatives of seafaring families take part in the ritual. Not even the approaching storm can upset the ritual that has been passed down for centuries by one generation to another. The strong wind has temporarily disranged the procession, but the rowers manage to regain control of their boats. At the sound of bells ringing from the church of Our Lady of the Rock, the men begin to throw the rocks into the water all around the reef. Each stone cast into the water symbolically represents the investment of each male member in preserving this unusual shrine. Had it not been for this ritual of regenerating the reef, it would surely not be able to withstand the sea for long. Few people know that beside the remains of the last sunken boats, is the largest colony of Gorgon corals in this part of the Adriatic Sea. Only very few divers who had gone down to the bottom of the reef were able to observe how new life was beginning on the remains of boats sunk long ago. This rare species of soft coral has in some way, unknown to us, adapted to the turbid water of the Bay of Kotor and grown to proportions unequaled in any other part of the underwater world of Montenegro. And so, the circle has symbolically closed, and the reefs are shown as places of both death and life. In the vast sandy reaches of the sea bottom, sometimes only one sunken boat is all that's necessary to start a whole new population of underwater plant and animal life, which in turn will generate a new ecological reef community. The doom and death of many ships often means the beginning of new life under the sea, just as the remains of the past are always the foundations of the present and the beginning of the future. This story of the sea is known to all whose lives have for ages been united with the vast spaces of blue, who have left traces of their own history on its reefs. This is a story much longer than a lifetime but still far shorter than the antiquity of the sea and maritime history in this part of the underwater world of Montenegro.